Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to talk about a really cool conditioning rinse that I just discovered and um, that is why my hair is not done. As you can see, my hair is really dry. It just, you know, it has that like rough, dry feeling to it. And especially for me, I do not go to my hairdresser probably more than once every four to five months because I just don't have time to do it. And when I go, she um, colors, cuts, highlights, and does all of that at once. And so when I do get that done, it's really nice. But this is a product that I have been using for a while and I really, really like it, especially in between those salon visits. This is Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse. Now this is from a company called Apple Biotic. Now, if you don't know already, there are a lot of benefits for your skin for apple cider vinegar. I never realized that it was good for your hair. It only requires you after you shampoo to keep it in for three minutes. You know, a lot of time those leave-in conditioners, they're like, okay, rinse your hair, wash it, and then keep it in for 15 minutes and then go back in. It's like, I don't got time to wash my hair, then get out of the shower, then go back in the shower. So that's always been a deterrent for me because I just don't have time for it. So I was really into this. It's super efficient time-wise. But it has organic aloe vera, green tea, chamomile, and vitamin B3. I don't really know what all of that means, but I just know that I like when I hear organic and I like when I hear all these vitamins in my hair and plus a probiotic. So I'm going to show you how I get that like at-home salon look after I use this. All right, I'll be right back. All right, peeps, so welcome to my shower. I am just going to shampoo as I normally would. Um, I'm using my keratin complex for colored hair, which I will list below. And then when you rinse that out, make sure you wring out all that excess water so you prep your hair for the rinse. And then you also wanna shake that really well and then apply from root to tips. I also use an entire bottle her treatment I just find that it works really really nicely and just does a really great job of conditioning my entire head so once you work this into your hair nicely you're just gonna want to put that up in a little bit of a bun let that sit for three minutes and then you'll rinse that out and then follow up with your regular conditioner and then that is it we are good to go you know I'm in the shower I know I saw the full face on because I for the sake of the tutorial, I did not wash my face, but I have to say that just using the rinse alone, it literally, like my hair is not the type that you can run your fingers through after even shampooing and conditioner. And with this rinse, I can run my fingers through my hair. So that's already a huge plus. All right, now I'm just gonna brush through and then I'm going to rough dry. Now, usually I would let my hair air dry for about 80% and then go ahead and blow dry it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going straight into drying so I can show you guys how I actually style it as well. Also, I have to note that if I were to rough dry my hair without using this rinse, it would be a lot more frizzy. So this just goes to show that it is actually working because it looks a lot more sleek than it normally would. Now I'm gonna show you how I style my hair. I'm gonna take my Conair Infinity 1 and 1 4th inch curling iron. This is one of my go-tos. I'll also list that below and then some pins. I'm just going to curl that front section of my hair away from my face. Now I like using this technique more so than blowing out my hair just because it's a lot easier for me. Plus, I do not blow dry my hair often just because my hair is pretty dry. So this is a little technique I like to use also just to give it that more blown out, pretty wave look without actually having to take a blow dryer to it. So I'm going to just Clip that in and I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other side and then once I'm done with this, I'm going to just do a quick curl throughout the rest of my hair. Now for the rest of my hair, I'm just going to take roughly one inch sections and curl away from my face and I'm going to do this uniformly just so it gives it more of that um, blown out look. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take out the front sections and you can see it just kind of gives it that nice little flip curl and that just makes it look a little bit more like I did just get a salon blowout so I really like the way that this looks um, just kind of feels really nice and bouncy and if you do not like giving yourself blowouts or you just don't know how to do them well this is a great way to mimic that look without having to actually go through all the trouble okay now I'm gonna give myself a little volume at the crown just because I noticed after I wash my hair the first day it just falls pretty flat. So I'm just gonna spray and tease lightly at the crown and then on the sides. And then 
that is pretty much it and honestly you guys i would say doing this once a month just keeps my hair really nice and healthy looking all right guys so there you have it this is how i maintain my hair between salon visits this rinse is awesome it just makes my hair feel so alive and fresh and i can actually run my fingers through it which for me is not often so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you did please comment subscribe like and share this video and i will see you guys next time bye